Hey everyone, welcome to episode 1 of Mortal Kombat 1 Online. This is going to be a series where essentially I'm going to be going through every single character in the game, at least attempting to, learning a little bit about them, figuring out their combos, what I think they're good at, what I think they're bad at, and yeah, we're gonna jump online with all of them and play a couple of matches. How this is gonna go is that the characters I like are probably gonna get more episodes, the characters I don't really like are not going to get a lot of episodes. That's just basically how it goes. Now, I do know that I'm basically ripping off some Street Fighter content creators with this idea. Quite a few of them have like this Road to Master series where they go and try to get each character to master. Now, individual character ranks do not exist in this game, uh, so that's not going to be possible, but it's the same idea. So episode one of this series is obviously going to focus on my current main. This is the character I'm like really vibing with and that is Reptile. Now, I don't know why. I think it's just his design. I really think this sort of human shape shifting into the Reptile version is like a good mix of both worlds. And I think Reptile was sort of a boring character before. Just another ninja and this is the most interesting he's ever been. However, I do think that this character, right now it's looking like, listen, this is only day three or four, depending on when this goes up, uh, but currently it's day three of this game. Uh, this character is pretty bad, in my opinion. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this character kind of seems booty cheeks. Now, he has some stuff going for him, but from what I've seen, sort of the tools that other characters have, Reptile just doesn't have the range and variety of tools that most characters need to succeed in this game from what I see and not even the cameos can help. Uh, but before we go into the negatives, let's look at the positives. What does Reptile have? He has this. This back three, which is his main strength, this is absolutely his main strength, is really good. First of all, Reptile has good walk back speed and this has good forward momentum. Uh, this is such an excellent strength. So basically you walk away from your opponent using your movement and as soon as he does something he misses and then you go into your combos, you get your damage and rinse and repeat. What does he also have? He also has great damage from both overheads and lows. Not a lot of characters have that. Um, this has been a case since MK11 Characters either focus on having good overheads or good lows and most of them have only like one or two attacks which are overheads. Uh, Reptile can actually get full combos, as I'm trying to demonstrate here, from both his overhead and low options. That makes him pretty good. Unfortunately we'll get to this overhead later because I feel like this is both a good strength and one of his biggest weaknesses, but yeah, we'll get to that later. Reptile also has pretty good meterless damage. This character has very easy combos and yeah, that's like 32% and this is a mad easy combo because essentially the force ball is a meterless launcher so whatever string you're hitting your opponent with, your 4-2-1, your 1-1, one, one, your back 3-1, whatever string you're doing, you can just simply go into fast force ball, four slow force ball, um, I did the wrong thing, I'll explain this in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, essentially you can just go into this, this, god damn, why am I not getting the, there we go, execution. So yeah, you can do anything into the two force balls, jump, do your string, do your special move, combo, very easy to do uh, and you just don't need to spend any meter so you have meter always for your armored wake up and you always have meter for this which is not that good you have meter for your, uh, which I'm trying to do the what's the move? there we go, the invisibility and the projectile which no one uses you also have meter burn force ball which is good because it eats other projectiles so do keep that in mind. This is a great way to get through things like Sub-Zero's Ice Clone. So yeah, those are the things that Reptile has going for him. He has mobility, he has good meterless damage, and a fairly good low string. 
Where did this character suffer? Uh, in quite a few areas, I'm afraid. First of all, I do gotta mention, as much as I like his visual design, I do think he is a lot more boring in this game than he was in MKX, the last time Reptile appeared. I feel like his MKX version was so much swaggier. He had a ton of strings, he was extremely fast, easily the fastest character in the entire game. Uh, he had the... one of his variations had like the flash slowdown move, which just led to incredible combo creativity, like 50% combos, lots of swag. Uh, he was an awesome, awesome character to look at, who I could never master. I never managed to master MKX Reptile. Compared to that, this version of the character is kind of boring. Uh, he's just like a basic uh, sort of MK character. He has... I feel like, aside from the invisibility, which other characters also have, there's a, not a lot going for him. But that's just a design thing. His main weaknesses lie in the fact that he is terrible at mixing you up. Uh, this is really the only decent low string he has. The overhead... The problem with this overhead is this charge to get the full combo is extremely reactable. Anybody who's not a chump is going to be very easily reacting to this. His other overhead, anybody is going to be reacting to this. So essentially, you just block low against Reptile and there is not a lot that he can do to open you up. He is very, very bad at being able to open up the opponent if, you don't, if they know what they're doing. You basically have to go for a ton of throws. The other thing that Reptile doesn't have is decent mids. This mid is okay, but it's extremely stubby. Uh, this has terrible range on it, compared to a lot of characters who have extremely far-moving mids. Reptile also isn't very safe. You have essentially this string, the 1-1, one, one, which is zero on block, and he has a couple of normals which are... Uh, I think he has one that's like plus. Yeah, he's standing for... This is the only move he has which is plus. If you look at all the other stuff, negative 8, negative 14, negative 13, negative 4. So even with the lack of like being able to open you up, Reptile also can't pressure you very well. Uh, his special moves are even worse. Like look at these block things, like minus 24, minus 30. 30, it's just insane. This character is so unsafe. And this combination of not having good mix-ups and being very unsafe makes it that it's actually very easy to defend against him. So because of that, because of these sort of terrible options, the cameo of choice for me for Reptile is Darius. Uh, the reason is that Darius can apply quite a lot of pressure uh, with this move. So basically you do any string and you can do the Darius spin, which does actually have a gap. Uh, it's kind of tricky to react to, but just be careful with throwing this out. But yeah, you can make any of your strings, which are normally unsafe, safe. Like, look at this one. This one normally would be a very good string. Uh, it travels forward, it's like long range, but it's goddamn high, so it's gonna get uppercutted. But yeah, Darius can also go into this, you know, keep yourself safe. And Darius allows you to do an actual overhead into an overhead and low mix-up. So that's my kind of uh, cameo of choice for him. Mainly because I don't think the combo cameos like Serena or Frost are good. Because Reptile already has easy combos and good meterless damage. So I'd rather do uh, something that like makes me a little bit safer. Oh yeah, and one more tip, keep in mind if you're playing Reptile, that anytime you get a jump kick, you can go into the drop kick move and get some extra damage. Cool, that's going to be sort of the lesson on the actual character, the tutorial portion. Listen, I don't claim to be some like Reptile master. Uh, this is just my observations on the character, so yeah, let's go ahead and take this character online. Um, so the servers are down. Uh, Twitter is blowing up. It's all over. Nobody can actually play the game currently. Yeah, because it's not working. Um, I guess there's going to be a little break in this video now because I can't actually go online. Well, I might as well say it. If you haven't liked the video yet, uh, do like this video if you're enjoying what you're seeing. Not the connecting to Mortal Kombat 1 servers to TM, sorry. 
Mortal Kombat DM1 servers. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll get back when the servers are back. Maybe I'll be already wearing a different t-shirt because it's going to be a different day or it's going to be nighttime. Who knows? See you guys then and we'll go online with Reptile. I'm going to play Armored Core 6 until then because that game is working right now. All right, see you. It's the next day. Um, listen, the servers... Oh, Havoc. Nice. The servers weren't actually down for all of yesterday, but they were down for like a good three hours. And uh, by the time that I learned of them being back, I was already doing something else. And I just didn't have the... Not didn't have the energy, but I just wasn't in the mood to go online. So anyways, we're just going to be playing a couple of matches here, show you what Reptile can do, and immediately drop a combo. Even though, surprisingly, believe me, it doesn't happen as much as you would think in this game, this guy is actually wired. GG's. And he's playing Havoc, who... This is literally my first time playing against this character, because you need to... Um, Oops, that was a mistake. You need to play through the story to unlock this character. And I haven't got around to doing that. Apparently you can, like, cheese your way through it just by, like... Okay, nice, you can block after that. Is that a low or is that an overhead? So you can, like, cheese your way through it. Um, by putting it on very easy and basically just, like, autopiloting on it. I don't want to do that because I actually do enjoy, no, too low, the Moron Combat single player stories. So I do want to play through it properly. Why don't I keep dropping my combos? But that does mean that I'm going to be unlocking Havoc a little bit later. Alright, no meaty. And for some reason I switched sides. Alright, well a couple of drops there but doesn't really matter. That's the thing about this character, Reptile. Like I said, one of his biggest strengths definitely is his damage. His meterless damage especially, so you have a lot of wiggle room. Like I said, to uh, do armored moves and breakers and all of that. What the hell is this guy doing? As in like, Havoc, uh, not this player in particular. It's so weird. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Poke into throw like we're back in MK11. I'm gonna overhead him. God, why does that keep dropping? Okay. This is kind of difficult because I don't know what his strings are. And that can make it like a little bit difficult to like see I don't I don't know what is a string and what is a special move. God damn it, I keep dropping. Alright, armored move. Can't eat through that, can you? Especially when you have that low HP. Okay. He blocked it. Nice. The EX version is where it's at. But see, this is what I'm talking about. This string, the back string, is the biggest strength of Reptile. Uh, actually, I can probably... If he does the projectile, I can... Yeah, I can counter that. I figured out through Twitter, by the way, since yesterday that uh, this move, if you do the full string, you can actually special cancel it. So you can make that save. That is definitely mega punishable. I'm going to try going for a... But see, this is the issue. This is what I'm talking about. This is the biggest issue with this character. I mean, Reptile, that it's so easy to defend against him because 
essentially you just block low but that makes him projectile invincible right yeah doesn't make him uppercut invincible luckily so we're good on that front yeah it's just very 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 easy to, to defend against this character which is kind of a shame because reptile was all about mix-ups previously so it's a little bit different What is actually cool? I, I can't wait to unlock Havoc because I feel like he's a very unique character. So... Oh shit. Too far. Sometimes you're too far and even the fast version doesn't connect. It happens. Mr. Darius, come in here. We're gonna do this. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I like having Darius. Okay. No, I don't have Darius. Um, you can just like very easily mix up your opponent, which is something this character normally can't do. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. Yep. I knew it. Come on. I'm trying to interrupt that. Yeah, that's definitely unsafe. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. Not, not jump, but he's gonna do the string. That's not even a low. People have said that this character is absolutely terrible. Uh, he exit, it doesn't kill. Um... I, I didn't know I had that unlocked. <laughs> That's pretty good. I didn't know I had that unlocked. Yeah, people have been saying that Havoc is absolutely terrible. Like, definitely one of the worst. I can kind of see it. Yeah. I'll need to, like, actually try him out uh, before I make a judgment, though. Maybe he has some, like, super secret sauce that nobody knows about. Okay, we'll see about this one. Uh, it's over a hundred ping, which is not good. Uh, normally, that's already the limit of what I would expect, what I would accept, I should say. Uh, but hey, you can decline that in this game. Hey, yeah, shit, bitch. Okay. I actually, actually not as bad as I thought. We'll just see how it goes. I had some bad connections today. I was playing this morning to warm up. Oh, of course. Yeah. I've seen this before. Uh, so Shang Tsung can just get like some ridiculous combos with Serena. Like, just look at what the fuck, man. He's definitely up there with, like, the strong characters, Shang Tsung. Just really, really insane combos. Oh shit, okay, I was not ready for that. And then, of course, Serena, easily. Easily the best um, cameo. Her and Frost, I think. I mean, just look at just look at this. Just look at this. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm all for combo creativity. At least it's back. Um, I don't mind. Listen. Everybody complained about Mortal Kombat 11 that the combos were so short. Uh, so I'm happy that this is... And that's safe too. I'm happy that that's been rectified. Okay, nice reaction. Shit. 
That's death. So easy too. That's the thing about it. It's so easy. It's just one string, Serena, one string, Serena, one string, and then you go into the bounce. Which the bounce isn't that difficult, as in the the projectile bounce. And see, this is like this is where you run into problems with reptile. That like I can't I can't open him up. Like he blocks he reacts to the overhead. Okay, not that one. And then that's it. Like, that's all he needs to do. So, I need to get Darius in here. Alright. I have him in the corner, so I should be okay. I know about that. It's basically the mournful katana thing. Uh, how you block against Serena. It should be chip. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's one thing I didn't mention. That Darius, that spin move, it's fairly good at chipping people out. Because uh, it hits quite a lot of time. So you do like one of the longer strings into that. And it's pretty good. Nice. Guy travels forward too, that's the ridiculous thing about it. Forward advancing mid into 40, almost 45% combo for zero bar. I mean, it takes Serena bar, but who cares about that? That regenerates so quickly. Jesus. And I'm dead. This character is insane. This character is actually insane. He's one of the problem ones uh, that I'm definitely noticing. The other one is definitely Reiko. Uh, somebody will need to explain why a rushdown character also happens to be one of the best zoners in the game. I just just NRS things. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely breaking that. Cool. Yeah, that's the thing about both of these characters, uh, both Shang and Reptile. Is that neither of them need to use meter. Uh, it's just, just the difference in damage. But oh no. That was bullshit that that didn't hit. Nice block. Okay. Thank fuck he got hit by that. Going to the... Fatal immediately. I need to, like, not forget to censor all of this. Because uh, this is more on combat than we're on YouTube. It's gonna be a problem. So yeah, both of these characters... ...have good meterless stuff, but... ...it's just the... ...the difference in damage potential is just... ...unbelievable. That does so good with the chip. Okay, I don't mind that. Oh, I tried ducking. I tried ducking. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure that was worth it. Thrown. Oh! Cool. Nice. 
I still got hit by Serena got your back even when you're already down she comes in she got you all right cool one more this guy is fairly good uh, I'm enjoying this there are still, weirdly, there are still quite a few characters who I've never even faced online. Not once. Um, I've seen a ton of Scorpions, which is expected. A ton of Shang Tsung, uh, which is, you know, because he's really good. But, just to give you an example. I've yet to face a Tanya. No Tanyas, that was the first Havoc I've seen. Nice, okay. Oh, okay, I didn't get the fast one and I jumped into the corn. Get in there. Oh shit, I dropped it. There is a way to get the two force balls. Even in the corner, but I need to practice that combo. I don't know what to do. I panicked there. Come on, armor! Oh, am I screwed? I'm not screwed yet. This is gonna do a lot of damage. I'm not gonna break because I'm saving if I get hit again. <laughs> Jesus. Oh no. I'm I'm in trouble. Yeah, that's that. That was stupid. Of course he was expecting me to wake up. I'm so dumb. Oh well. Oh well. He's got his little syringes. Oh, shit. Okay. Breaking. The move didn't come out. Could have been a full combo. Darius. Yeah, waste your breaker on that, please. Oh, why did... Oh, yeah, this is not... See, the thing is, in Street Fighter 6, there is like a, a built-in safeguard against you being able to jump into the corner. It doesn't exist in this game. There's probably better stuff you can do against that just, than just a down jab against Serena, but I need to lab that. Because everybody uses her, so... It's good to be ready. It's actually unsafe, but... It's difficult to punish, because most of the time you end up far away from your opponent. I can't believe that beat him. Reaction. I, I should have this in the bag. Unless I like... Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I thought he was gonna... I thought he moved. He didn't move. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, well, here's a five minute combo. That is insane! Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, that should chip with Darius. Um, what's my fatal? There we go. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll do a respectable fatal. If you hear that, that's my dog. And he's dreaming. And he's barking in his sleep, so... If the mic is picking that up. That was easy money, though. Easy. I got Motaro! I thought you had to... Okay, that's good. 
I thought you had to play the story or invasions to get Motaro. I didn't know that. That's cool. All right, so I think that's going to be it for episode one of this series, as well as I think video one of the reptile version of these videos. Definitely going to do more with reptile because I am like, you know, maining him for now. So yeah, he is going to be sort of the focus here. But yeah, we'll move on to other characters as well. I'll decide what else or who else to try out. I think the tutorial portion and maybe like two matches since these are uh, best out of five matches really is sort of the best format not to get like an overly lengthy video but let me know if you'd like to see more like i said for the characters i like there's going to be dedicated videos where i'm just playing online so yeah that's going to be it for now thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed the first episode of mortal kombat 1 online and yeah as always like comment subscribe and catch all of you next time peace out and goodbye